In today's news, Kamar Usman and Henry Cejudo shared their predictions for the Edwards vs. Bilal Muhammad fight. Speaking on the Pound for Pound podcast, Usman picked Edwards to beat Muhammad, while Cejudo believes that Bilal's skills have improved recently and that he'll be able to get it done Saturday night. Leon is starting to kind of settle into the seat. He shouldn't be because I ain't, I ain't gone nowhere yet. I think he believes that he's a champion here. Leon is working on staying there. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with Leon for this one. I think Leon might be able to pull this one out. I just feel like the time for a guy like Bilal Mohammed, there's inspiration involved, what he was able to do to Gilbert Burns too. And I feel like we are going to hear and... New. Are you calling me crazy for picking uh, Leon Edwards in this fight? I ain't like the way you looked at me I when I said that. Truly do believe that Bilal Muhammad's gonna get it done, and I think that sets up a good fight between you and him. So if I'm in your position, I'd be cheering for Bilal Muhammad because that gives you another entry, and I want a piece of that gold. Listen, I'm cheering for nobody. The fight happens. <laughs> the fight happens. You know, whether anyone likes it or not, I'm gonna do what it takes to earn that fight, and then that fight's gonna happen. Isra Adesanya shares his prediction on the Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad fight. In a recent YouTube video, Izzy made a short breakdown of the fight and predicted that Edwards will finish Bilal in the second or third round. Bilal's got pressure, man. He just seems like he, he's able to get to people and put his will on them. But I'll tell you one thing, this, this is a different ver Leon just seems like he's on a fucking, he's on a massacre right now. Just on a run. Leon might finish him. I think Leon finishes this fight. I'm trying to see how Bilal can win this fight. This, this seems like a bad match for Bilal. I don't want to be like, I'm not hating on Bilal or anything. I'm just trying to see what's his path to victory in this. Striking, Leon's got it. Grappling, you want to lean towards Bilal, but Leon is right up there. It's Leon's fight to win. It's Leon's fight to lose because even when they were fighting the first time before the eye poke, Leon was touching him up. That Bilal throws one thing that might confuse Leon a little bit though is Bilal, he faints. Typically, it's a very guess what? Take that, go both ways. Leon's too crisp. Compared to Bilal, he just Leon has found this whole thing. Oh, head kick for him. He's legs. And now he's going in. Oh my goodness. Big left hook. He's blocking though. He defended those shots, but that head kick. Leon by knockout in the third round. Second or third round. Manel Kopp goes off on Mohamed Mokaev ahead of UFC 304. According to coach Eric Nixick, Manel Kopp was set up by Mohamed Mokaev ahead of their fight at UFC 304 this weekend. Kopp was asked to take a photo with Mokaev for our Muslim brothers, to which Kopp agreed. Moments later, Kopp was attacked by Mokaev's camp. Manel Kopp has since reacted to the incident, tweeting, what kind of Muslim are you? You give me salam, ask to take a picture, and then try to punch me in the betrayal? I can see now, you are not a child of the Dagestan. Because there are created men, you are just a poor bastard raised on a low income in Manchester without honor and principles. When I hit you in Vegas, I went alone and I told you to be ready. I don't hit men with their guard down or distracted or on the back. I thought everything was solved, but now the carnage will continue. Shaitan. Petty Pimlet opens up on his mental health struggles ahead of UFC 304. In a recent interview with Sky Sports, Petty revealed that his coach wanted to pull him out of UFC 304's fight against Bobby Green due to Petty's depression slash anxiety issues, saying, It's mad because five weeks ago I was thinking, oh my god, this is the worst camp of my life, what's going on here? Just a few things went wrong a couple of weeks ago, a few things personally were getting me down, kicked into gear at the right time, everything fell into place, and no one could beat me on Saturday. About five or six weeks ago, my coach was thinking about pulling me out. Mentally, I just wasn't there up until like two or three weeks ago. I don't know how I turned it around. I have that attitude and that positivity where I can turn it around. You know how confident I am. So when my coach was thinking about pulling me out, I went, no, no chance. You've got to stay confident, lad. You got to stay positive. Whenever I start feeling negative and get a bit down, that's when I get a bit of depression and mentally, that side of things, it's hard. I need to share this, lad, because other people don't. I'm probably going to mention it again in the cage after the win. Curtis Blades threatens to f*** Alex Pereira up if he moves to heavyweight. Speaking at UFC 304's media day on Wednesday, Blades was asked about the possibility of Alex Pereira moving up in weight. There, Curtis stated that it would be a bad idea for the Brazilian and warned him not to move into his weight class. But we also have Alex Pereira's inevitable move to the heavyweight division. Bad as well. idea. Bad idea for him. Him, I'll give you my premeditated plan. I'm gonna shoot. Immediately. Why would I give him any chance to knock me out on the feet when I know I can take him down at will? And I'm sure he has to know that. I think he's looking for a specific heavyweight, not any heavyweight. He has uh, matchups against. I could see him eating guys like Ty, 
we we watched them sparring Ty Tuivasa, maybe some other guys in like the bottom of the top 15, but you give him a top five guy with some real weight, he's not winning. I ate not. one from Alistair. You think he throws harder knees than Alistair? I know he got the aura going on right now, but I ate a knee from 265 pound Alistair. I'm good with eating these. So would you welcome Yes. Welcoming Alex Pereira to the heavyweight division if you win on Saturday yes. night. I know that's what everyone wants to hear. Yes, I would love Alex, Alex Pereira. It's not because he's not good. I'm heavier than he is. Just a heavyweight, gravity, weight matters. It's not not a skill base. It's just, it's just how it is. Conor McGregor DMs Habib amidst the Dagestani's financial troubles. Nurmagomedov allegedly owes the Russian government millions in unpaid taxes. Things got even more difficult for him this week after Bailiff seized his family house and a fleet of vehicles in his name, totaling around $900,000 in value. In a recent tweet, McGregor has shown no mercy in the midst of Khabib's financial troubles, sharing DMs he sent to Habib. Brother, I just put in to buy your family home off government because you can't afford. I plan on big, smelly Irish shit. Brother, I take big shit in your house. Brother, you abandoned from family and now I take your house for shit and piss. Brother, where is the toilet roll? Bilal Muhammad takes shots at Conor McGregor. Speaking during Wednesday's UFC 304 Media Day, Bilal was asked about a potential fight with Conor McGregor. He showed interest in a money fight with the Irishman, but does not think it will happen. Bilal said that he believes if McGregor pulled out from the Michael Chandler fight due to a pinky toe injury, he'd probably pull out for a broken nail just to not fight him. Just down to you right here. Uh, there's someone who's been very critical of the fight in Conor McGregor. Um, in the future, is that a fight that you relish to take? And is it a big money fight for you as well? I mean, anytime you bring him up, it's a money fight, right? But uh, I don't know. It's, if he's pulling out for a freaking toe to fight Michael Chandler, he'll probably pull out for uh, like a broken nail to fight me. Bilal also shared his side of the story about an incident in the elevator with Leon Edwards' team. I just I just heard like a little short freaking midget screaming something. And I was like, what the heck was that? And I, I saw it ended up being his uh, coach in front but Leon and his team they didn't say nothing his brother was trying to give me a dirty look uh but he didn't know that I was sizing him up uh for after the cage if he ends up hopping in the cage wanted to do something it's time for today's top memes third place was found over on reddit and was posted by the dancing wombat the second place meme was found over on reddit and was posted by Penna Miss. The top pick was found over on X and was posted by ACD MMA. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.